Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and welcome to our Halloween Decor and Homeschool Activities collaboration with Marla Juarez, Janet Reyes, and The Simple Happy Life. I will link their channels below, so please check them out. Today, I wanted to show how we are celebrating Halloween this year and how we're incorporating it into our homeschool routine as well. So we are not going to be trick-or-treating door to door. It's um, not a good idea in our location. And so we're gonna be staying home. One of the things that we have decided to do in order to create a little bit of interaction between my child and uh, friends is we are going to make little bags um, and fill little treat bags and drop those off at friends' houses. So I'm going to show you some of that stuff. Um, these are just little bags that I found at some point at a secondhand store and they were in our Halloween um, bin. So we're going to use those, but I do have some bigger bags if those are a little small. Um, I've been stocking up on candy, so we're going to have candy, but we're also going to have non-candy activities. Um, putting some little Play-Doh in there. Um, we've got some glow-in-the-dark rings. Have some creepy eyeball bouncy balls. Um, and some little Halloween yo-yos. And I think all the majority of these things came from either Fred Meyer, which is our uh, Kroger up here, or came from um, Michael's. So those are the things that we're gonna put in the little craft bag. Um, we also are going to uh, I have a whole bunch of these <laughs> Halloween foam sticker things that I have collected over the years. Again, I'm guessing these are probably from Michael's or something similar, but I honestly don't remember. Um, and then we have some of these that are pumpkin faces. So we are going to get a pumpkin and we're probably going to decorate the pumpkin with um, stickers and paint instead of carving it. That way we can have it out for a little bit longer and keep it in the house. And then the other thing that we're doing to tie in with our homeschool, because we are learning Spanish and we are doing cultural awareness, we are going to celebrate Day of the Dead. Um, so we are um, doing some research on that and then we are going to paint this giant sugar skull, which I'm super excited about. I don't know if my kid is, but I like to paint and I think this looks really fun. So hopefully <laughs> we'll be doing that together um, and um, I can show you finished products when we have that, though I don't know if we're going to have it for this video. And yeah, so we are looking to learn more about um, other celebrations besides Halloween, since we are not celebrating our Halloween the same way we normally would. Normally we would go out trick-or-treating with friends. We don't think that's a good idea for us this year. So instead, we are going to deliver those little um, fun uh, trick-or-treat bags to friends, drop them off on their doorstep, sort of a reverse trick-or-treat. We're going to drop off the treat and then knock on the door and run. Um, but so then they get their treats and they're going to do the same thing. They're going to leave bags, treats for us. And then, um, and then celebrate uh, or learn about and potentially uh, participate in the celebration for a Day of the Dead. So that is how we are incorporating Halloween um, activities into our homeschool and making it a little bit more educational than previous years. And um, I'm also going to show you how we decorated for Halloween. So keep watching to watch us decorate our schoolroom. Thanks. Be sure to check out the other collaborators on this video. Bye.
I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not